What's up? I just wanted to jump on this video and just let you guys know again that motivation and discipline are super overrated. They're necessary, but really what's most important is your little habits, so your atomic habits, and the systems you have in place. So if you don't have a good system, you're going to fall to the level of your system. So you can have all the discipline in the world, but discipline runs out. Motivation runs out. It gets depleted. It's like a battery. So once that discipline, once that willpower goes away, you're a victim to any circumstance you're in, any system that you're in. And if you have a well-established system, if you have a good foundation, then you're going to be successful. Anybody can be successful. It's just about your systems you have in place. If you struggle to watch TV at night, remove the TV from the bedroom, okay? Put it in the closet if you have to. And then the only time you watch is if you really want to pull it out. You could have it in the living room, but the point is my the system would be I don't have a TV in my bedroom because I don't want to watch TV before I go to bed or in bed. Let's say you don't want to eat junk food. Do not have junk food in the house. Am I telling you to never eat junk food? No. But if you want to get junk food, you need to go out, seek it out. So go to a bakery, go to a place, buy a single serving of whatever food you desire. It doesn't matter. But the point is you're going out of your way. You're making it difficult. Your system is to make it difficult to obtain that treat that you want. It's really that simple. It's not avoiding it. It's not denying yourself. It's you have a system in place that makes it not easy. And then what you're making easy is eating healthy food. So you have the healthy food in the house. So that's an example. That's a simple example of how a system can make you successful, right? Just like if you go to Costco, don't buy the bulk ice cream. If you struggle with it, if you don't struggle with it, and you can have a small amount because the dose does make the poison, then that's totally fine. But a lot of people struggle with overeating. They struggle with eating when they have anxiety, eating when they're sad, dealing with anything because it's a coping mechanism and it releases dopamine and it makes us feel good. It is what it is. I'm not judging you. But the people that go, oh, they just don't have enough discipline. They don't have enough this. Just don't have the foods in the house. Don't even have them available so your system is sufficient to keeping you good. So you don't have to rely on something that doesn't last forever. So guys, I hope this helps. Just have good systems. Have good systems for whatever goals you're trying to achieve. If you wanna to go to the gym, set your clothes out the day before. Make a commitment for an exact time that you're gonna to go to the gym. 5.30, you go. This gym, blah, blah, blah. Have everything, write everything out if you have to. Or if you want to get really deep into it, you can make a contract with your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, maybe your personal trainer, write out a contract and sign, hey, if I miss a workout, I've got to pay 50 bucks or I've got to pay 25 bucks. Or people may think that sounds extreme, but a lot of times when you commit to something, you write a contract and other people hold you accountable. It can be very, very, very effective. So do what you have to do. Right? Don't compare yourself to, oh, I wish I was disciplined like Bob, or I wish I was disciplined like Stacy. Don't worry about what they're doing. Worry about what your goals are. Visualize them, strategize, and give a clear blueprint and develop systems that will help you obtain that. Am I saying am I saying that motivation and discipline are worthless? No, but I'm saying if it happens, great. Right? But don't count on having discipline. Don't count on having motivation. Count on having systems. Discipline and motivation is like a wave, right? It's like the weather. It'll come and go. You don't know, right? Some days you're going to wake up and you're going to be super motivated. Some days you're going to wake up and you're going to feel subpar. But you're going to fall to the base of your sy systems. So your systems are established. Your systems are good. You are going to be successful no matter who you are, where you are, who your parents were, anything like that. Any kind of excuse you can have, it's just from your system. So develop better systems and it's going to change the trajectory of your life. And I promise you guys it will. Okay, have a great day.